Welcome back to SLN Academy. In this module, let us talk about successor and predecessor. And let us see how to find successor of a number and how to find predecessor of a number. Friends, please click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get new video updates on this channel. Check the description below to find more video and free document links. Successor What is successor and how to find successor of a number? The number that comes just after a number is called its successor. Let us look at it in detail. To find successor of any given number, if the number is n, then the successor of the number n is n plus 1. You have to add 1 to the given number to find its successor. Let me give you some examples. What is successor of 8? Successor of 8 equal to 8 plus 1 equal to 9. Let us see another example of successor. What is successor of 99? Successor of 99 equal to 99 plus 1, that is 100. Predecessor What is predecessor? The number that comes before a number is called its predecessor. Let me tell you how to find predecessor of a number with some examples. If a number is n, then the predecessor of number n is n minus 1. To find predecessor of any given number, you have to subtract 1 from the given number. Let me give you some examples. What is predecessor of number 8? Predecessor of number 8 equal to 8 minus 1, that is number 7. Let us see another example of predecessor. What is predecessor of 100? Predecessor of 100 equal to 100 minus 1 equal to 99. So, how to write the predecessor and successor of the given numbers? It is so simple. To find the successor of a number, add 1 to that number. If the number is n, then the successor of the number n is n plus 1. To find predecessor of a number, subtract 1 from that number. So, predecessor of number n equal to n minus 1. Let us observe an interesting pattern in successor and predecessor concept. Take any two consecutive numbers, 1 and 2, or 8 and 9, etc. Here in this example, I have taken 8 and 9. Successor of 8 equal to 8 plus 1, which is 9. And predecessor of 9 is 9 minus 1, which is 8. 9 is the successor of 8 and 8 is the predecessor of 9. So, what you have observed? If the number n is the successor of number m, then number m is the predecessor of number n. Let me give you another example. Here, I have taken two consecutive numbers, 99 and 100. Successor of 99 is 99 plus 1, which is 100. Predecessor of 100 is 100 minus 1, which is 99. So, 100 is successor of 99 and 99 is the predecessor of 100. So, this is how you can find predecessor and successor of any given number. Now, it's question time. 
Question number one. Write the successor of 61,233. Option A, 61,232. Option B, 61,234. Question number two. Write the predecessor of 11,347. Option A, 11,346. Option B, eleven thousand three hundred forty-eight. Question number three: Write the successor of nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Option A, nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight. Option B, ten thousand. If you like this video, click on subscribe button and don't forget to like, comment, or share. Write your answers in the comment section given below, and you can be the winner of the episode. Hurry up and get a chance to get featured by the end of our videos.